My name is uh, Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Mark Sedwick, United States Army, and I am the U.S. Transcom Command Chaplain. So when we talk about the common reasons that uh, people commit suicide, I think it's first to start with just overall numbers. We know that in 20 years that combat deaths in Iraq and Afghanistan, other parts of the world, is about 7,000 military members during those 20 years. During those same 20 years, more than 30,000 active duty reserve component and veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan have committed suicide. So it's several things. It's relationship problems. It's young soldiers or young military members that are away from home for the very first time who experience a traumatic event like a breakup. Uh, and then also those that deploy and come back. There's just really not a lot of downtime that exists to decompress. Also, uh, there's just a disconnect uh, between the 99 point plus percent of people who do not wear the uniform of the country. It's incumbent upon supervisors. I think it's incumbent upon peers to know who they're working with. So you have to know them to understand if they're off their game. What are some of the changes? Maybe they're giving away some of their possessions. Maybe they're not as frugal with their money as they used to be. Uh, they're offering to buy lunch every day because they don't see a need in the future to, to, to save money. There is no future in their, in their mindset. And then we have to be brave enough to ask them, uh, is everything okay in your life? I'm concerned about you. I've noticed some changes.